A two, two, three, four. I need to put a denim jacket on. So I don't look like I've just rolled out of bed. So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches comparison and tutorial of the Magic Palette, p -p 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 the Magic Palace, the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place and I'm so excited. I want to thank Emma, my one of my best friends for buying this for me for Christmas. She was like, just give me something that you really want really want and I was like I really really want this also I have two other Juvia's Place palettes so if you want me to do swatch comparisons reviews and tutorial on that just comment down below because I'll feel free to do that anyway I'm going to be telling you all about the shades doing swatches and I'll be telling the ingredients where you can buy it just stuff like that so first of all you can buy this palette if you're in the UK you can buy it from Juvia's Place as well but it's just shipping customs you can easily just get it from Beauty Bay which is where Emma got it for me and on Beauty Bay it's £30 which is absolutely amazing for this palette it's crazy the pans are just out of this world big I'm not even joking look and then you can buy it from Juvia's Place website for $35 so it is less but obviously no it's more am I right? I just said $35 is more is less than £30 I think it is because if you convert, if you conversion it, it would only mean that would be £28, so technically it is less, okay. I am not divvy, I still am divvy, that's fine, that is fine. So this, I've wrote it all down there, that's why I'm looking over there. This palette consists of 16 shades of metallics, duochromes and mattes. I mean, how stunning is this packaging? This is the box, comes with a box as well, obviously, bit of bubble wrap, bit of that, yeah. 16 shades like I've said a million times and I'm going to read out the shade name so there's by the way if I say these wrong I'm so sorry I don't mean to offend anyone I just cannot I think I do well though Nubia, Zakaya, Osun, Kessie, Zuba, Nana, Baruno, Kogi, Faso, Ad Adja or Asia, Ve, Yemoja, Aif, Yara, Buzzo and Yajid I'm so sorry if I've got any of them wrong but I can't help it the look I have on today is using this palette, so after the, the swatches I'm going to be, the, the look I'll be that, I've really filmed the look, alright shut up. Now I'm going to be reading out the ingredients, so the ingredients are talc, magnesium stearite, mica, ethylexyl palmate, triethylexon, trieth, oh my god I rehearsed these and I forgot, I literally sat there rehearsing these because I was like, I'm going to be cool, I'm going to be able to read out all these posh named ingredients. I have actually studied ingredients by the way. Triphylexoneon, mineral oil, kaolin, and it may contain mica, even though it just said it had mica, that's fine. Mica, titanium dioxide, iron oxides, ferric ferrocenide, <laughs> manganese violet, violets, chromium oxide grains, yellow five lake, blue one lake, and red 40 lake. And this is a cruelty free product. Yeah, cruelty free product. And it's distributed by Juvia's Place in the USA and created and formulated in the USA. So it's not China made. And it says, it says this on the website and the back of the box. The magic palette was inspired by the moon and sun goddesses of the wilds. A beautiful fusion of cool and warm tones, vibrantly infused with 16 ultra pressed pigments, perfect for day to night looks. And it says directions for use. First, prime eyes with a white slash nude base. Use a flat, wet, synthetic synthetic brush for shimmery colours. They can be used wet or dry. To wet brush and setting spray, use a blending brush for matte colours. Juvia, you know what you're doing. And it says 12 months, but I'm pretty sure you can use this for like forever. Because no one just stops using a palette after 12 months, do you? That is the box. <laughs> Why am I talking about a box? Shut up. The box is just the same as that. And on the back of this one it's just clear and it's a lovely coral pinky colour and oh so stunning I love the packaging these are all the colours oh my god shut up right <laughs> we're gonna go into swatches I'll see you in like five seconds right by my window so please ignore that I just want to get the best lighting possible this is a close-up of the palette what is my finger doing am I right is my thumb bending I've got a bendy thumb this is the close-up and now I'm going to be doing live swatches so you can see there true pigmentation and then i'm going to be doing brush swatches as well i'm going to be doing each row at a time first of all we have i'm going to tell you a bit about the shades so first of all we have nubia and it is in metallic yellow gold 
Zakaya is a matte orange toned red. Osun, I'm not going to point. Osun is a pale metallic pink. Kessie, oh for God's sake. You know what, can this bend back? No. Kessie is a matte pale beige. Zuba is metallic medium pink. Nana is a matte orange toned brown. Bruno is a metallic bronze gold. Kogi is a matte red. Faso is duochrome duo lilac. Aja is a metallic khaki green. They is a metallic dark grey. Yamoja, a light metallic grey. Ife, a deep matte purple. Yara, a metallic, a metallic green. Bozo, a metallic, no. Yara, a metallic turquoise. Bozo, a metallic green. Yijide is a matte navy. So I'm going to start with the first row. Nubia, I'm going to do two swirls. One, two. Wow, is all I have to say. Also, ignore my arms, they're very ugly. <laughs> You saw that. You saw that. For the brush swatch, I'm going to be using the Morphe G10 brush. And it's just a flat brush, like so. It's a bit wet still, but that's fine. And I'm going to do two little dips. One, two. Oh, okay, I'll do three. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it did wear off a bit. But I always use primer anyway, so. And then we try and build that up. Yeah, that's quite good. And then now we are doing the shade Zakai, which is a matte. And are we in my arm? Yeah. Okay, so one, two. Whoa. And it looks like so absolutely amazing. For the matte swatches, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. So one, two, three. Well, it's quite sheer, but you can build it up. And it is a matte, so it's not going to be obviously like amazing. Next, I'm going to be swatching first with my finger is O Sun. So let's. One. Wow! By the way, it's like my favourite shade. <gasps> what? Sorry, but that's just like. Oh my god, no. Like, it's too much. It's too much. Can a shade be too much? Because this shade is too much. Now, just using the same Morphe G10, but it's clean. Well, now it is. It's clean. One, two, three. Oh, my God, please. Okay, so, obviously, it didn't swatch as good as a finger swatch, but that is just the way life goes. Oh, God, please. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then, lastly, I'm going to be swatching Kessie, which is just a beige, so it's not going to show up hardly at all but that's fine just looks like that you can still see it and it's amazing <laughs> let's just say that now a brush swatch one two three looks like that and doesn't show up at all hardly but yeah that is the first row done moving on to row two nice clean arm now first zuba one two. this is like hello what ah, oh, please look can we just like please take a minute that is too much right now brush swatch hello oh dear <laughs> no, i'm joking well, you can build it up and also brush swatches i don't really like because i use i use a primer anyway and i use my use use my finger so it's not really that fair. Now Nana, which is oh yeah, Nana, which is a matte. Hello. That's a bit gone wrong. <laughs> oh dear, Nana isn't that great, but we can live with that, can't we? Now Bruno. Well, these shimmers are just like. Like, look, that I didn't, do I even have to explain it? That was actually really good with a brush, br br I can't speak. That was really good with a brush swatch. So I'm quite proud of that. Now Kogi, which is the red. I'm surprised they would be able to make a red because it's hard to make. 
hello that was a bit of a fail but like I said mats aren't going to be the best thing on this universe okay that's row two nice clean, mark, clean, clean arm again we're on to the third row so first so three I love that. That's is that a duo crime? Is that a duo crime? Yeah, this is a duo crime. Lilac, lilac. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Now brush swatch. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> you can build up. I promise. I know you'll be able to see in the swatch. Like it doesn't brush swatch well at all, but. You can see when you put it on your eye, it's brilliant. Like, that's the only thing I'm trying to explain. Now, Aja or Aja. I don't... I'm not a fan of this shade. I don't really understand... Like, is, is, it, is it a shimmer? Is it a matte? Bit confused, really. It's meant... Oh, it's metallic. Okay. But I I'm not really a fan, but, you know, it's fine. Not everyone's going to be a fan of the same thing. Now, brush swatch. That was actually a pretty good brush swatch, not going to lie. Now, Vi or Vi... Oh, this is gorgeous. I absolutely, I love this. Oh, wow. It's like the perfect dark silver. You can't even see it. I wish you could see it properly. There you go. That's, that's it. That's brilliant. Hello. Goodbye. I'm joking. I need to shut up. This is... They just are so pretty. You, the brush switches don't do its justice. But I promise. Now, yeah, my Ruja. This is beautiful. I've used this a few times already. Like, this is the shade. If you need a shade, that's the shade for you. I think I need help. <laughs> brush swatch. Oh, that actually brush swatch is so lovely. That is row three done. Last but not least, the last row. <laughs> Shut up. This actually genuinely is probably my least favourite row, except it's got one of my favourite shades in the palette that I keep using over and over again. First of all, we have Eif, so one, two, three. It's like a deep matte purple. Well, it's not that deep when you, the finger swatch isn't that great at all. Let's brush swatch it. Um. Okay, well, maybe not the best, but that's fine. Now, Yara, this shade, I'm telling you, I use this today on my eyes. It is something else. This is something else. Like, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's like amazing i cannot explain to you my love for this shade now brush swatch like look even the brush swatch is like hello sorry to headphones you headphone users <laughs> now buzzo i really am excited to use this but i don't know if it'll clash with my eyes <gasps> sorry i'm so sorry but look oh no look please just look look at the love look at the love shut up now brush swatch look even the brush swatch like please please it's so beautiful and lastly edge eyed and it's like a navy blue kind of that actually swatched quite nice i'm quite a fan of that now brush swatch that's that actually swatched all right now that is the last row okay so now i'm filming the tutorial part now this is like the fourth time i've used this palette also ignore my eyebrows because i'm having a really bad eyebrow day today but my fade isn't really there the fade isn't quite there but that's fine and also ignore my ugly face because i've got no makeup on so we're going to be using the magic palette obviously am i all right i'm a bit confused because i haven't even filmed the intro yet or anything but yeah so first of all i'm going to be taking this shade here kogi and I'm going to be taking that whip on my eye with the Spectrum BO6 brush. Won't focus though. Okay, let's dip that in. And I'm going to go straight on the eye. Felt like doing a voiceover. I am just blending this shade onto my eyelid. I want to add music but can do that. So here I am talking. Blending, blending. Shut up. And really build that colour up at the front as well and it doesn't matter if we go really far because we're just going to put some tape and go boom I'm going to go do that in the offer and be right back okay so now we've done that and it actually looks like a red on my eyes hang on I'm sorry this really isn't focusing very well it looks like that so far 
and taking my Spectrum BO4 brush and then I'm using the colour Zakaya, this one here. And I'm going to be putting that on the outer part of my outer V. And then I'm just basically using my brush to dab it onto the outer bit because then you get more pigmentation. It looks like, well, it like divides the different colours between the one I put on first. And then when I dab it on, I then blend it so it doesn't like a bigger one block of colour. And, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Also, by the way, it looks like I'm blending it really messily. But that's right because now I'm just taking a cotton pad with my cellar water on it to clean it up. And I'm telling you now, it's going to get snatched. Now I've done that on both eyes, I'm going to be taking my Zoeva Rose Golden 226 Smudger Brush with the NYX Glitter Glue, glue and be putting that all over my lid. Here I'm just showing you what it looks like on my brush for so long, don't really know why. And then I'm just putting this on starting from the inner corner going outwards. And I don't put it completely over, I just like the main bit of my lid. So basically completely over in other words. Oh, so I must say my eyebrows look good. I think the problem was this eyebrow was darker than the other. Anyway, that's not talking about then taking the Zoeva Rose Golden 234 Luxe Smoky Shader, I'm going to be applying the shade Yara, this one here, all over the lid. Now this shade is gorgeous, I'm just putting this all over the lid, starting from the inner corner again like I did with the glue, and I can't explain the pigmentation and the amazingness of this shade. Beautiful. On the Spectrum A16 brush, I'm also going to be taking a bit of... Osun, the pink one, I'm putting that in the well, front bit, front that doesn't make sense, but the, it's like the, not the inner corner, but the first part of my eyelid on top of the green. This shade is so pigmented and gorgeous, but it didn't really work with the green because it didn't really show up as pink, just a bit more blue, but other than that, it was so pigmented and stunning. And then, I want to finish it off with doing a really cool yellow liner, I think. Should I do yellow? Yeah, I'm going to be using my NYX Vivid Brights in shade Halo, which is the yellow one. I'm going to do this off camera. So now I've done my foundation and concealer and I look so much more better. Better? Better. There you go. And I've done the liner as well. It, look, it will look better when I've got lashes on, don't worry. I'm not, I don't know, I don't know that great. I know I'm meant, you're meant to put like mattes underneath your eyes, but I really want to do a shimmer. I'm just feeling, I don't know why. A shimmer. We're going to try a shimmer, okay. This is weird, but you know what? We're gonna do it. So, I'm gonna go with. Oh wait, hang on. No, I'm gonna use. Aja, Aja, Aja. I'm gonna use the Yara, the one I used on my lid. Cause I feel I'm feeling it. I don't know why. I just this is gonna go really bad. I can already tell. You know what? It's not too bad. But I've got no lash going into my eye. I've actually got an eyelash going into my eye. Okay, so yeah. And this is the finished look with the palette. I love it. The lashes are Violet Voss, just saying. And the lips are, I have, I have no idea, because I have too many lip products and I can't bother to find it again. And the yellow liner is really you know sorry. Where? Anyway, that is it for today's video and I hope you really, really enjoyed. Sorry I couldn't do swatch comparisons, if you didn't notice, but yeah. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of the look. And if you want any more, I could do like three look one three looks in one palette. Just comment down below, yeah. And any other video ideas, comment down below. I love you so much. Bye.